In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the audio and video sync problem or delay problem. People call it different names, but you know what I mean. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Of course, if you love streaming using OBS, because we're gonna do this in OBS. So let's not take much time, let's get into it. And actually I have a clip here. Let me show you what it looks like, okay? This is just a clip that I just recorded and take a listen, a recording. What is going on guys, Samra production tips and tools. I am testing this. So as you can see, my lips are not matching with my, I mean the audio, the actual audio, the sound, right? It's like I am behind or the audio is behind or the video is behind. I don't know what's going on. I can't tell by watching or listening. So that's why we're gonna find out and I'm gonna show you how to fix that if you have the same problem. So right now I have my camera and have my uh, audio coming in. This is what it looks like, okay? And um, most of the time what's gonna happen is because you're bringing in audio separately. By the way, if you want to avoid this, avoiding going through what I'm gonna show you because it could be a pain is the only, I mean, the best way to avoid it is to have your camera connected with your microphone. So your mic goes through the camera and then send the audio via the capture card, via HDMI into the capture card, the capture card into the computer. So the audio, audio and video gets to the computer and hit OBS at the same time. You can do that. And then when you go here is you're going to add your audio input capture. Uh, when you add your audio input capture, you're going to import the audio from the name of the capture card that you are actually using that's one way to solve it so you don't have to go through the trouble of adding delays the second way of solving it is the one that i'm gonna show to you which is by adding a delay on your picture all right so how do you do that okay first of all you need to figure out some people you can you can use a guessing game so basically uh, most of the time I'm going to have to delay the audio because audio most of the time is going to be faster than video. So you go here, go to Roadcaster Duo. This is my audio or your interface, whatever you may have, your microphone, whatever is going to show up here. And then go under mixer, do the go to, um, to settings. You can also like right click and then go to advanced audio properties. All right. And then go choose your audio uh, source which is going to be your main audio source, which is going to be for us, going to be the Roadcaster Duo. And then you can go here where it says Sync Off Set. You can try to guess, put like something like 200, 200 milliseconds. All right. Sometimes you may get it around 200, try 200, 400, 500. <laughs> you keep trying. It may work. Sometimes it may not work. So let's try 200. Hit close. All right. And then we're gonna do a quick recording. Also, another thing you need to do when you do your testing clips, it's important that you actually clap, okay? Cause that's gonna help you. So we're gonna go ahead and clap three times. Cause it's easier to detect a clap than just detecting your lips, okay? So let's start, stop recording. Let's go ahead and find the recording here. Because that's gonna help you. So we're gonna go ahead and clap three times. So it's easier to detect a clap than just. So as you can see, 200 mil uh, mil seconds actually fixed it. So if I was struggling, I wouldn't have to really do anything else. Okay. So the video ends. Bye bye. Okay. But again, that would be doing you a disservice because for you it may not work you may guess 200 400 500 it may not work and you may have to find a specific number all right so if this doesn't work your guessing game doesn't work we're gonna go to step number three i mean if you work you probably won't be watching the rest of the video and that's fine so we're gonna go to step number three so let's say we put in um 500 and it did not work we tried everything it did not work so what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you the formula that I use, okay, to be able to fix this. So I'm gonna put it back to zero, and then we're gonna go ahead. What you need to do, you need to record yourself. We're gonna record another clip, so start recording, and then we're gonna clap again three times. One, two, three. 
So we got our clip and then I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and we're going to go ahead and watch the recording again. We should be out of sync. Recording and then we're going to clap again three times. One, two, three. So as you can see, obviously the clip is out of sync. So here's what I recommend. If you are a video person, you probably chances are you use CapCut, you use uh, DaVinci, you use Premiere Pro. Uh, any video editing software should be able to help you. This is a little more advanced, okay? Even if you're a beginner, I'm gonna show you it's gonna be easy. You can download the free DaVinci Resolve or a free uh, Adobe Premiere Pro like a trial. It doesn't have to be to, you don't have to pay for it or any editing software that's free. Maybe CapCut should be able to have it as well. And we're going to try to do it uh, for the sake of this video. We're going to do it in Premiere Pro. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open Premiere Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the clip. So you're just going to create a new project. Okay. Uh, I can call it uh, whatever you want. Let's say fix the delay. And then you can save it anywhere you want. All right, so so we have now we right now we have Adobe Premiere Pro open, and what I need to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop. All right, so I'm just gonna drag and drop the clip in Premiere Pro, okay. And then what I'm gonna do is, we, I don't have to think about the frame frame rate and whatever because I already uh, I can use whatever frame rate that the clip has. That's very important. So I'm gonna go ahead, and right click to the clip, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say click to new sequence from clip okay so basically it's gonna create a new sequence from clip all right so now it's important that you know you have an idea of how many frame uh, like what's the frame rate of your 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 uh, your your sequence or your um your stream back in obs okay especially when you bring in the video or if you go to settings here and then go to video you can see common FPS values. This is your frame rate, which is 30 frames per second. If I go to Premiere, it should be the same thing. If I go to Sequence, Settings, you can see that the clip is 30 frames per second. So it's gonna match. That's why it's always good instead of just dragging whatever. It's just good to just right click and say new sequence from the clip. All right. So now we have a 30 frames per second clip on our timeline here in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we need to do usually when you drop the clip you're gonna see that the audio clip and the video clip are actually separate so i can move the audio clip uh, and the video is not gonna follow i can move the audio and the video is not gonna follow but if they are not for some reason you can also like select the two clips and right click and then hit uh unlink okay so usually they're gonna be linked okay so right now again you can see that i just unlinked uh officially unlinked uh but again we can go ahead and still click to link it's just when you move it sometimes it's just gonna premiere is gonna show you some numbers again this could be different in the vinci or any other uh, stream uh, editing editing software and this probably won't matter that much okay so the first thing we need to detect is actually where the claps actually happen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look for the claps we can go ahead and, and we're gonna clap again three times so where there's a clap usually there's a peak so as you can see on our audio wave form there's a clip here there's a peak and that's our first clap we can even use that that clap okay so if you can see this is a clap this is a clap and this is another clap right so since see two there's another one here good all right so this is the magic. What we need to do is I can even go ahead and delete everything else. So I want to make sure everything is aligned. Okay. And hit shift on my keyboard and then hit the uh, delete, you know, the, the razor uh, thing. Okay. Which is here. And then go back to our selection. And then I can select everything and just hit delete. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm close to as close to the clap as possible. And I can do report delete just to have the clips like the club as close as possible. So another thing is you want to make sure you kind of zoom out all the way. 
Now, if you go to your keyboard, right, you can use this arrow arrows here. This is my keyboard. So you can use the arrow uh, buttons or keys, all right, to move forward or to move backwards. All right. This one, these uh, three arrows. Okay. These are what we're going to be using. And these are going to be uh, basically defining our frames. Okay. So if I, I hit once, that's one frame, two frames, three frames, four three, uh, frames, five frames. Okay. So let's go ahead and again find the clap so what we need to do now we need to find the clap on the picture and the clap on audio and match those two okay so let's see one two three let's start with video four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven that's where the audio uh, video actually claps on the video so we are 11 frames uh, behind because audio, uh, sorry, not, not, probably not 11. Let's see, one, two. So it's around, uh, the clap happens around here. Sometimes it's like we have some half frames. So usually those are not going to affect that much. So let's say, one, yeah. So I would say like there's a half frame here which is weird but it is what it is so we can cut everything here again so hit c on your keyboard and then v and delete and then report delete just to make sure we're close to the clap okay as close as possible so this is where the clap is it's like half frame but that's fine so again we're gonna count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we are ten uh, 10 frames behind on video. So what we need to do is we can go ahead. You need that number 10. Keep in your mind. Okay. We can go here and then, um, I mean, like, you know, use this little thing. I don't know what it's called. Just bring the video, squeeze it <laughs> until you get where the 10th the uh, frame is. And then we can move back the video so that we can match video and audio now. Okay. So now if I go, it should match. One, two, three. So we got our clip and then I'm going to go. So now you can see that everything's matching. So we remember the number. The number was 10 frames behind. So basically we need to delay our audio 10 frames. Okay. So if you want to use frames, you can go here back to OBS. Go to advanced audio properties. All right. Okay. So we have milliseconds. Some software will give you frames, but OBS gives you only milliseconds. All right. So that's something we have to deal with. Okay. That's a problem because we know it was 10, but we can't pull 10 because this is milliseconds. Okay. So this is where we're going to do some math. Okay. Guys, this is like uh, some science here we're doing. Okay. We're going to need a calculator. Okay. And what we need to do is really just basic math. Okay. So we have, we are behind. 10 frames okay but our frame rate is 30 frames per second okay so we are behind we have 10 frames but in one second we have 30 frames per second so in one second we have 30 frames okay so how many seconds are we behind okay how many seconds are we behind so basically it should be what 10 divided by 30 right and it's going to give us 0 0.333 seconds. So basically we are, of course, it's less than a second. So we are 0 0.333 seconds behind. Okay. So milliseconds in OBS, basically one second equals to 1000 milliseconds. So we need to multiply this number by 1000. So 1000. Okay. And that's going to give us 333.333 milliseconds, right? So this is the number we're going to put in OBS. Remember we guessed 200 milliseconds and it kind of worked? Well, it kind of worked because it wasn't really perfect, but it worked because our eye can see the tiny imperfections because we're talking about milliseconds. But this is the closest exact delay that we should be putting obs okay that's why i call this the advanced way right 
So we're gonna go ahead. Now we have our number, our magic number. Now, if you were doing 60 frames per second, it's a different game. Now, we, instead of using 30, you would use 60. So you take 10 divided by 60. Okay, that's important. You need to know your frame rate, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go back to OBS and then go to our mixer here. And then we go to our broadcaster, broadcaster duo. And then we're gonna delay that by three, three, three that three three okay we can't we can put like uh, cameras and stuff like that so it's gonna be three 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 okay three hundred and thirty three that's it okay which is really like we're talking about milliseconds guys <laughs> like <laughs> so i don't know what you know 0 0.333 of a millisecond will be like trillion the seconds i don't know whatever anyway so it's 333 we got that and then hit close all right, so what we're gonna do now, this should work guys, for sure. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick recording again and do the testing. All right, let's start recording. What is going on guys? This is another test, testing this delay that we just fixed in OBS. One, two, three, I'm gonna clap. All right, so we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and find a clip. All right, let's start recording. What is going on, guys? This is another test, testing this delay that we just fixed in OBS. One, two, three, I'm gonna clap. All right, all right, let's start recording. What is going on, guys? This is another test, testing this delay that we just fixed in OBS. One, two, three, I'm gonna clap. All right, so as you can see, science does not lie, guys. Everything aligns perfectly. Again, this is the scientific way of fixing this issue. Let me know if you have questions. You can still use the guest cam, as I mentioned. It may work for you eh, or it may not work for you, but at least I think taking the time to see how you can fix it, either you do the guest cam or not, I think it's all also very very uh useful and actually allows you to understand how the whole thing works so guys let me know if you have questions but this is only one little problem compared to how many other audio issues you may have with obs while live streaming that's why you want to make sure to check out my next video because i'm gonna show you step by step how to fix any audio issues in obs i'm gonna give you the best audio settings you need to be aware of when live streaming using obs that video is gonna be linked right here so check it out and i'll see you there guys take care